Hi, I'm Luke Nguyen. Now, to celebrate the 50th anniversary of Australia and Vietnam's diplomatic relations, I'll be embarking on a culinary journey through Vietnam. I'll be meeting up with inspiring Australians, eating delicious regional Vietnamese foods, and I'll also be cooking with some premium Australian produce. Now, I'm in Ho Chi Minh City, formerly known as Saigon. Now this bustling metropolis vibrates with energy, innovation, and is the economic heart of Vietnam. Now the dynamic cityscape brings together the older than you really perfectly, and the dining scene here is exciting and ever evolving. I'm on the bustling street of Quoc Hương in Taoden, on my way to show you my most favourite dish in Ho Chi Minh City. Actually, it's everyone's favourite dish. In Hanoi, they have pho. In this city, we have gom tam sương. And I'm here at gom tam, my favourite place. I can smell the aroma all the way down the street. Come have a look at this. Now we have the sương grilling. It's char grilled pork chop or pork cutlet right over the charcoal there. Now it needs to be cooked over charcoal because you get the smokiness and the aroma that permeates through the meat itself. Oh, that is browning really, really nicely. Cô là mừng cho cháo một cơm tấm bì sườn chả trứng. I'm getting a combination. Ooh, beautiful broken rice. Oh, nice and hot. We had cha as well. Oh la la, wow, look at that, wow. Now when they harvest the rice, it has its husk on it, right? So they need to remove the husk from its rice. That removal process, some rice grains get broken and they get discarded. Now that's called broken rice. This is what it is, really small pieces. They never used to be able to sell it, right? They can only sell the whole grain rice, but today, it is much loved by all the locals. Now, we have the beautiful nuk chum here, which is a really nice thickened fish sauce dressing that goes over the top. We have spring onion oil, and I love these little bits here that they give you. It's rendered crispy pork fat, really, really crispy. Now we have the cha, which is your steamed egg meatloaf, I guess, or terrine, with pork mince and little dots of woody mushroom in there. Of course, we've got the tomato, cucumber, and this is amazing as well. This is called B, right? So B is boiled pork skin, shredded with a pork meat, and mixed with roasted rice powder. So gum tam bì sương cha, and then chung is your runny egg. Look at that. This is a great combination. I can eat this for breakfast, lunch, or dinner. And don't forget about the hero, the char grilled pork cutlet. I eat this once a week. It's a lovely, Lovely mix, pork cutlet, broken rice, spring onion oil. Mmm. Mmm. That's a complete dish. Gom Tam Sương is the dish of Ho Chi Minh City. You have to try it when you're here. I'm meeting Tony Wilson, a South Australian Indigenous artist currently based in Saigon. Tony, I'm a big admirer of your work and it's so cool. It's an honour to be here in Ho Chi Minh with you now. It's awesome. You're a native Australian artist. I love your work, um, but you spent a lot of time in Vietnam. It initially happened through just visiting. Just I had a couple of short trips and loved the place straight away. I, I love the place. Incredible. So being in Vietnam, you feel the most comfortable here? Essentially, like, I just feel good here. Mm -hmm. And every time I leave, yeah. I miss I miss the place. That's amazing. You know? So does being in Vietnam and the, I, I don't know, the landscape or the, the culture, does that influence your work in any way? My main art practice is painting. Right. But since I've been in Vietnam, photography has crept back up really? to be okay. my number one. My photos are of Vietnamese people, a bit of street photography. So when the local people are giving the tick of approval, it feels pretty good. So good. Um, is there like a particular piece of artwork that you've worked on that has a whole combination of your native Australian connection, your yeah. Italian and also a yeah. little bit of Vietnam? It was a story of my grandparents. So my grandparents being Italian migrants mm. and Indigenous Australians. 
And it was, it was a story about the way my parents meet. Me coming from Australia and feeling this connection here to Vietnam. What? And so like the two, two worlds coming together, the two people coming together, me coming from Australia and finding this second home feeling wow. in Vietnam. So there was, yeah, that was probably What's the, that called? Uh, we meet at the river. So the painting Synergies. has a Saigon River in it? Yes, so geographically it was inspired by the Saigon River. And at the same time, it was uh, connecting with the story of my lineage. Um, and that's how I usually paint. When I used to view the artwork, I saw stars. And so nighttime sky, galaxy, or it was what I imagined under the microscope energy look like. So it's like the um, invisible spaces between the physical, and I'm trying to sort of um, visualise and depict that. The process is quite, um, it puts you into a meditation type mindfulness state. And in those moments, you know, your, all your senses are heightened and you're really present. Because it's, it's, it's like your, your awareness is increased. And then it's not like I can see it, but you can, you just get these impressions. And so just things become more vivid, like my emotions will take on colour and, and, and or rhythms and stuff. And Mate, like, can, I, can I see your studio? Yeah, sure. Mm -hmm. Welcome to my home and studio, Luke. Love it. Wow, look at these. Yeah. Oh, these guys are amazing. This is Mr. Vin. Mr. Vin. Mr. Tran. Yeah, you know all of them by name. Yeah, so yeah, great. like every morning. Our communication's a little bit, we struggle. But you yeah. communicate through your art. But we That's still beautiful. we still chat every day. Oh, what? tell us about this. It's just a new painting that I'm working on. And can you explain the whole process here? Basically, it's a, a mark-making technique. Mark-making, okay. Yeah, and I use different, different tools. Now, Tony, do you have any of your finished art pieces in Vietnam? I do, actually. There's a, a new restaurant that's just opened up in District 1, Akuna. Akuna I know Akuna. The lead chef, uh, Sam. Sam purchased a couple of my artworks, oh, so we could maybe pop down and check them out. We should eat something. Sam! Luke! How are you going? Good, mate. Hey, How are you? Good, Good to, to see, see you. you. What a beautiful looking restaurant. Thank you, mate. My baby. It really is gorgeous. Now, Tony tells me he has some of these wonderful art pieces. I do. As well. I have a few of them, actually, but one of my favourite is just over here. Oh, wow. Look at that. Look at the view you have here as well. I know, I know. And the connection between the two. Gorgeous. So this looks amazing. First of all, Sam, what does Akuna mean? It's an Australian indigenous word, which means flowing water. Flowing water. Which has a connection with the Saigon River. And Tony, talk us through this process. Well, yeah, so on the, the name of Akuna, meaning yeah. flowing water, I've incorporated it into the design and using like a geographical setting location of the restaurant. And we've got the Saigon River coming in, floating through. And Sam, what's your style of food and your cuisine here? Oh, I see, which is very tricky, Luke. <laughs> very tricky. I try and use the best of my two favourite countries, yep. Australia, Vietnam. Mix them, I get inspired by just eating the street food here. But with great premium Australian produce. With Australian produce. Mate, what are you cooking for us today? What is this? Right, this is my favourite dish on yep. the menu at the moment. Yep. We have some Aussie pork chow. So pork oh, chow wow. from Queensland, Australia. So pork chow is just under the cheek of the, exactly. the pig, right? This, I cook for about 12 hours in a wow. salted chicken stock. And then I cut it up, we cut it into perfect little squares because we're super fancy. Yes, oh, yeah, I know. Fine dining. dining. <laughs> Fine dining. Pork in here. Yep. All right, so smoking. Yep. We've got some oak wood chips. Mm. So this just adds another depth of flavour to the dish. Here it comes. Look at that. It smells amazing so already. It smells a bit beautiful. Yep. It catches onto the pork, which yep. is unbelievable. And it just makes the dish, takes it to the next level. Wow. And then we've got the pork. Wow. Yeah. So that looks good. so good and smells. It smells beautiful. It smells amazing. And the okay. smoke just sort of catches under the pork. Yep, beautiful. perfect. And then what about all this here? So then we've got all the ingredients. Yep. Uh, basically, Tonkin jasmine. So we can Throw that in. Inside. Lovely Vietnamese ingredients you've got exactly. happening here. Yep. Uh, some termite mushrooms, yep. which is also a local mushroom. Goes in. Put a few of them in there as well. Sorry, just put a few in there. Yep. There. And what's this one here? This is the abalone. This fresh Australian abalone comes from the pristine waters of Tasmania. So it adds a little bit of sourness to the dish. Yeah. I mean, for me, I'm in the presence of 
two great artists, yeah. Tony and Chef Sam. Yeah, I mean, this beautiful. is like your studio here, isn't this it? Is it? Yeah, yeah. yeah. This is where you create your art, um, your inspiration from Vietnam, yeah. right? And yeah. from Australia. Yeah. It's absolutely beautiful to see. And I love that connection of Tony's art pieces here. Yeah. And then you're cooking it all. Yeah. It all comes together. That's in how one. it works. It's amazing. Yeah, exactly. Now, Sam, before we start, I mean, this is like a canvas. Right? It is, yeah. It, it is. is. I mean, I saw Tony's canvas this, is, this morning. Yeah, exactly. This is your canvas. This is my canvas. This is my artwork. But we're going to go a little bit of kohlrabi puree. Puree, right in the middle. So just in the middle. Silk and tofu. Silk and tofu, just in the very centre. Texture. Amazing. Taste. Okay. It's good. Another little lotus seed there. Perfect. And then to finish. What's that? The masterpiece. The masterpiece. Let me give you one more piece of mushroom. Look at that. And we have the scallop wow. sheet, so super thin. Oh, look at yeah, that. Beautiful texture, shiny. And then what we do is basically we're just going to cover all this. And I like to drape it over. So oh my gosh. Like this. That's amazing. So there's one, so there's your silver. And the gold? And the gold. Wow. Beautiful. Yeah, the gold over the top. This is spectacular. And I like the idea that's wow. almost, when it goes to the table, you don't know what's going on, it's all it's sunk in inside. So that's Man, my, that's my art piece right you've there. You've got the, the brilliant Australian produce in there, Vietnamese influence, done super fine dining yeah, beautiful. in Ho Chi Minh City. In Ho Chi Minh. Oh, we love having you here in Vietnam. Thank you, Luke. All right, and so to finish the dish, we have a scallop and pork rib broth. Wow. What else is in this broth? We also have secret ingredient, Luke, uh -huh. which is the dried sandworm. Oh, wow. Yeah. That's awesome. Yeah, which gives amazing umami to the dish. <laughs> Come on. You're both the It's artists. like your artwork. Oh, Come absolutely. on, it's like, I've got to compete against this guy. So this is, this is what <laughs> I come incredible. up with. incredible. smells amazing. Especially this is, the broth is the, wow. the broth makes this whole dish. Mm. Wow. So delicate. I'm gonna try the broth. Yeah, you gotta get the broth. The broth is the best part. So much Ooh. umami, all the flavors in the broth. Mm. And then you've just got all the different textures. Wow. You've got the scallop bankun in there. Look mm. at that. Amazing. Oh, I can smell the smoke. The smoke oh. pork. Are you saying Vietnamese? <laughs> Nom? Red Delicious. Delicious. That's good. I'm happy with that. I'll take that. It's beautiful. The Australian pork jowl with the banh corn. It's the best of Australia mm. and Vietnam. What would what wine would you drink with this? So let me serve you the Australian wine, Momet oh. Pinot Noir from Adelaide. So the Pinot Noir will go really well with the pork jowl. And yes. I'm having the most incredible fine dining experience. Overlooking the beautiful vistas of Saigon whilst enjoying a delicious Pinot Noir from South Australia, which pairs perfectly with the smoky pork jowl and Jay Tiger Abalone. Such an honour to be here with you. Cheers. Thank you, Sam, too. You're a legend. I've been truly inspired by being in the presence of these two great, skillful artists. Chef Sam and Tony have showcased Australian Indigenous art and premium Australian produce so well, combining their work with local Vietnamese ingredients, culture and landscape. And as Chef Sam put it so well earlier, this is the best of Australia and Vietnam. I feel so lucky to have them both join me in Saigon as I so much admire their work and what they have done and contributed to this incredible vibrant city of Ho Chi Minh. I look forward to seeing you in my next culinary adventure.